Imagine a black hole's jet so massive that they could line up to 140 Milky Way galaxies in length. Sounds crazy, right? Well, astronomers have recently discovered exactly that. A pair of jets from a black hole stretching a mind-blowing 23 million light years across space. Yeah, 23 million. These jets have been given the name Porphyrion after a giant from Greek mythology. And honestly, it couldn't be more fitting. For a better visual comparison, this is the Milky Way, our home galaxy. And this, this is Porphyrion's jets. In comparison, the Milky Way is just a tiny dot in the face of these cosmic monsters. In this video, we're going to dive headfirst into the story behind this groundbreaking discovery, how it was stumbled upon by chance, the surprising results that shook the scientific community, and how this colossal find is challenging what we thought we knew about the cosmic web. And believe me, for every answer this discovery provided, it sparked a dozen more questions, pulling us deeper into the mysteries of the universe. So how did we even find these cosmic giants? It all started in 2018, when a team led by Martijn Oe set out to study the cosmic web using Europe's LOFAR radio telescope. But as they were looking for those faint, wispy filaments between galaxies, they started noticing something else. Huge, strikingly long jet systems popping up in their data. Using machine learning, and with help from dozens of senior scientists, the team found over 8,000 jet systems, with Porphyrion being the biggest and baddest of them all. These jet systems are actually pretty common in today's universe. You've got jets being launched out of black holes in many galaxies, but only rarely do they grow to these colossal sizes. Before Porphyrion, the largest jets we knew about spanned just 1.5 million light years, discovered way back in 1949. Then, in 2022, everything changed when the same team found Alcyonius, a jet system 100 Milky Ways long. The closest major jet system to our solar system, Centaurus A, spans just 10 Milky Ways, and now we have Porphyrion breaking all the records at 23 million light years. Not only that, Porphyrion unleashed a total power output of trillions of suns across the universe. It's like millions to even billions of simultaneous supernova explosions. Yep, we don't want to get too close to that. To find out where Porphyrion came from, the team used the giant meter wave radio telescope in India and data from Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. The data shows that it's 7.5 billion light years away from Earth. They also trace the jets back to a galaxy 10 times more massive than our Milky Way. Just imagine the power of a black hole at the center of something that big. Porphyrion came from a supermassive black hole, and the latest discovery shows that jets like these may have had a huge influence on the formation of galaxies in the early universe. Back when the universe was only 6 billion years old, Galaxies were connected by a dense, tightly packed network of dark matter and gas, known as the cosmic web. The cosmic web is made up of filaments, long, thread-like structures of dark matter and galaxies that crisscross the universe. These filaments connect galaxies and clusters, feeding them gas and matter that aid in their growth. During the early universe, the web was tighter, meaning that massive structures, like black hole jets, could affect a larger region of space than they do now. But since then, the universe has expanded significantly by a factor of 4.6. But how could a black hole's jet influence the formation of stars and galaxies? The jets heat the surrounding interstellar and intergalactic gas clouds, preventing them from cooling and collapsing into new stars. This regulates star formation in the galaxy and the intergalactic medium. By heating the interstellar medium, it stays too hot to collapse and form stars or fall directly into the black hole. Hot gas doesn't flow toward the black hole as easily, which otherwise increases the amount of material that could eventually fall into the black hole, destabilizing the whole galaxy. And what's more unexpected was that Porphyrion emerged from a radiative mode black hole. Now that's interesting because current black holes usually release their energy as jets. Powerful streams of particles expelled at near light speeds called the jet mode black holes. But radiative mode black holes mainly release energy through intense radiation. Radiative modes were only common in the early universe, 
But seeing one capable of producing jets of this size is, well, pretty surprising and unexpected. This discovery raised some big questions. Professor Martin Hardcastle, a black hole jet expert, believes that jets like these require unusually long-lived and stable accretion events. Basically, material being pulled into the black hole for billions of years without anything destabilizing it. That's the only way something like Porphyrion could form, which is very wild. The universe is vast, and Porphyrion is only the beginning. Up till now, the team has only surveyed 15% of the sky, meaning there could be more giant jets out there waiting to be discovered. And with every new jet, we learn a little more about how the universe evolved. Martin Oe, a Caltech postdoctoral scholar who leads this team, is especially investigating how these giant jets might have spread magnetism across the universe. He said, the magnetism on our planet allows life to thrive, so we want to understand how it came to be. We know magnetism pervades the cosmic web, then makes its way into galaxies and stars, and eventually to planets. But the question is, where does it start? Have these giant jets spread magnetism through the cosmos in the first place? Understanding how these jets interact with the cosmic web could tell us a lot about how the universe came to be the way it is. So, what does all of this mean for us? It means the universe is still full of surprises, and we yet to get more answers than questions. Black hole jets like Porphyrion show us just how interconnected and powerful the cosmos really was, and still is today. And who knows? Maybe out there, somewhere in the depths of space, there are even bigger mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Well, if you've learned something about the recent discovery, do smash that bell icon and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any new updates on space. This is Try New Space.